welcome to yet another Naraka Blade Point update. We're going to be going through the patch notes. We're going to kind of zoom through these while we're chilling and waiting for the servers to go live. So I hope you guys are ready to check them out. Today is March uh, 20th or 21st, depending on your time zone, 2024. Let's get into it. We've got season 1.5 turmoil, a new hero coming to showdown, uh, Wu Chen. He is coming in to kick some booty. Wade into battle and cut down your foes to forge a path leading ever onward. We've got the new boss, Corveen. The last Mount Tion, Silas Bloodline. A new boss roams the autumn plains of Morris Isle. Um, we have brand new soul jades and potentials, which um, they've added the new burn and soak effect to vaporize and vanquish your enemies. We've reworked potential and remade all core potential effects. Try out our new strategies in the upcoming season. So you guys have some more like, I don't know, like buffs, debuffs, etc. New item flux shard, um, an ambient item that can be used to change a specific attribute of showdown soul jade into a another random uh random rare attribute to get this item you must complete the night scrim level of the new stage reach showdown paragon in yama's abyss or purchase a showdown pass season settlements um claim so all of the season rewards and everything from showdown um in the new showdown season the regular treasure choice gift will be upgraded to the perilous treasure choice gift and which includes the brocade tre uh, treasure chest players will be rewarded with an avatar that corresponds with their um how high they got in the chasm um progress reset you guys can see the stages with like how far you went and how much you will like start out and everything how much it bumps you down etc um from the devs in the first showdown season we introduced the new mode yama's abyss where sense level has no negative impact completely new anima um ring gameplay seeking to let everybody enjoy a pure combat experience as a full season has come and gone we are carrying out wide-ranging optimization of many parts of yama's abyss as well as upgrading the season rewards we welcome everyone to try out yama's abyss and hope that you all will continue to provide such valuable feedback we've got brand new showdown season turmoil so we got a new um season pass uh the season pass is worth more than eighty thousand gold this season pass brings an extended and save selection of impressive rewards such as breathtaking weapon skins captivating martial skill con uh cosmetics excuse me a special turmoil soul jade gift and extraordinary flux shard the advanced showdown pass is now 400 gold cheaper the glory showdown pass unlocks 20 levels and exclusive items um so that's gonna be exciting limited time event the egg hunt uh it's gonna be running from now until april 1st uh and then you can redeem your rewards until april 4th um gain easter eggs by, by completing quests during the event interact with the easter naraka ball boss within the fairyland pink light during the event to transform into naraka bunny ball and smash into other players you'll both have a chance to receive easter eggs and soul balloon easter eggs Ew! easter eggs can be exchanged for exclusive event rewards spend uh soul bloom easter eggs to activate the easter bunny at the fairyland pink light. uh seraphic quartet seraphic quartet and receive loads of rewards and then oh look at his beautiful chat he's look he's hot he's so hot look at him he's hot oh okay um <laughs> limited time event naraka blade point saga oh wow well. um from the 20th to april 10th um so today to the april 10th uh follow wu chen's story in the official comic naraka blade point saga by tapping the link in the event cal uh, center you'll uh, even receive an exclusive avatar Ooh. ah yo tan, tan comics dude uh, are we gonna uh, can i get this in physical form where can i buy it take my money <laughs> sorry uh limited time event from now till april 3rd we have a plume of chaos um gain Hondon, Hondon feathers. That's his name. Oh, it's not Dondon. It's Hondon. 
feathers by completing quests during the event. Hondon feathers can be redeemed for great event rewards. Compete, uh, complete each day's daily quest to receive bonus rewards. Fairyland, Panglide, brand new gameplay, Gold Hunt. Thank you for headpats. We've got um, the winds abode in the Panglide. Roll around in a rock ball form, leap high, and smash into players for points. Complete a uh, week. Oh! <laughs> I'm excited. Uh, so for Targa's getting an adjustment, optimize the attack performance of casting ultimate in the air. Um, feature optimization, improve the scout effect uh, of items like Scout Bell and Myth Mystic Might by adding a new ability to mark the nearest three enemies with the yellow icon, making it easier for players to locate them from their buff from the realm of Yang. Heroes Assemble Adjustment, reduce the max health of all enemies in Operatic Flames, the first stage of Heroes Assemble. Immortal War Adjustment, increase the number of realms of Yang in the first round of Immortal War, both solo and trio modes, uh, from two to three. Add in another round of automatic triggered bane breath controller adjustments added a, a new combination key for second stage ultimate players can use this key to trigger sequence stages for certain heroes like shale and echoes out of game adjustments fairland Pangli, naraka ball has returned <laughs> That's exactly how it's written, okay? Uh, when you enter the vicinity of the Songbird Arena, Pantheon, or the plaza area in front of the Pantheon, the Naraka Ball form will automatically deactivate. Adjusted the collision mechanism with other players when using the ball! New visual display in interactive mode on the homepage. The homepage is now divided into two major Herald Trial and Showdown. Added the preparation feature in Herald's Trial. Adjusted the select mode and rank panels as well. Match history. Added match history for the Showdown. Um, Justice Chamber can take over the position of the leader of the Justice now. Co-leaders uh, can apply to become leader once the current leader has been offline for 14 days. No! <laughs> Members may apply to become the leader once both the current leader and co-leader have been offline for 14 days. No! Even worse! <laughs> oh no! It's okay. I'm always on a per update, so that means uh, we're Gucci. No big deal. Hero voice. Change the ultimate casting voice line of enemy uh, echoes to the previous one. Collection feature optimization. After the upgrade, you can freely use the cosmetics from the previous level. Ooh, so you can choose which level on the upgradable stuff. That's nice. Adjust to the initial level required to unlock the bloodbath to nine. And, uh, 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 adjust to the initial level required to unlock a bot mode to a medium to 10 and unlock the bot mode hard a 20 the rank feature is now unlocked by default yo so you can you can all you can just play rank now so that's good okay showdown adjustment mechanism adjustment burn and soaked are added additionally burn and soaked effect from different sources uh, the hydro flare effects triggered by players using burn and soak now operate separately you can now see icons representing a burn and soaked as well combat adjustment increase the startup frames on this beast uh, dragon coil optimize visual display of honest umbra scorch honest umbra rock uh match trend of yushan umbra and on uh, soul jade adjustments soul jades are temporarily unavailable they will be obtainable through other means in future versions so tracking arrow dealer phantom advanced heal crossbow ray roll blue moon splitter stamina strike dual ring venom tip scarlet yong ying um and bounce shell so if you have them you can continue to use them if you don't you can't get them right now optimize the overview of the following thunderproof thunder pole th a tundra mai and condensed uh, chi optimize the detail described on the soul jane effect of the sub-zero seal and desperation shield hero adjustments advance the dodge timing of heroes diffuse martial skill valda has a bunch of the, there's the nerd stats enigma domain adjustments during the temporary closure of enigma peak in the chasm season players can still claim rewards please stay tuned and further notice uh, added a new map celestra is coming and the enigma domain the match run of yushan has been replaced by omnis ariet Ar ariet or ariete the fire monster has been replaced by iron typhang and the frostbite omens have been replaced by thunder ones boom boom we got yama's abyss adjustments added corvine into their introduced sense level to yama adjusted the fixed omens appeared to stage 26 adjusted rules and distributing uh, uh, enhancements during the preparation phase we got the soul jade copper ward can be obtained from loot once again optimize the description of the effects of the falling um anima rings there they are the effect of anima mighty 
counter has been changed after a successful counter trigger and astral gust dealing the damage equal to that of counter strike combo to nearby enemies yin yang type anime rings will no longer appear in the showdown um season and the anima ring uh backup armor dampen discharge dampen resistance dampen resilience and frostbite fortitude will no longer be available during this season boom feature uh, adjustments upgrade hero changes the cadence of content and leveling speed has been adjusted in martial skill agus break and defused will now unlock earlier than before increase the maximum sense level cap for soul jades uh, dropped in all stages we'll also display the soul jade original enhancement level cap okay feature adjustment climb optimization updated dlss to uh, version 3.5 improving visual effects to overall performance direct uh, 3d 12 has been updated and now uses fsr3 adding frame insertion functionality thus greatly improving effects and frame a added a asynchronous instance feature which optimizes the amount of time used to load uh, scenery resources improving all overall performance adjusted how numbers are generated in combat reducing fluctuations in the heat of battle so that'll be really good as well for like uh capture the spirit well yep 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 <laughs> uh playstation optimization reduce the loading cost of character facial animations for a more stable frame rate xbox optimization increase the efficiency of graphics job and improved render rate optimize skeletal animations rendering process um and improve the character's render rate bug fixes showdown related bugs fixes uh fix the problem with hammer evil and a uh, failed to bounce back the sword energy after countering optimize the height of locking position when locking onto the matron and fixed the issue with omens divine strikes other bugs fix the hairstyle of torrent displayed effect on valda we got a bunch of new packs shale is getting a new polar night pack which we've seen a little bit of pictures of their uh new discounts on a bunch of soul land stuff Wu chen we've got we got a lot a lot of stuff going on the, the grapples are coming back the dual dude all of, like so many skins are are making a return and then all of the other uh featured items return for a limited time we've got all of these and there you guys go i hope you guys enjoyed our checking out of this uh week's we get them every other week but this week's patch notes what are you guys most excited for and if you guys want to keep up to date with all the naraka tea make sure you like and subscribe let me know down below what you're excited for and if you're enjoying our new season of showdown